Vinny, I found a gun in my Snickers bar. You know, there's this, um, well, don't worry about that. You just throw that gun away, okay? <laughs> just throw it away. That's like that macaroni and bullets thing I showed the other day. Okay, time to check the prostate. Is there no way I can just select this with the Joy-Con? Oh, okay, no. Come on. The right button? So I have to get my Pro Controller so I can press A. I did, I pressed ZL and ZR with the left Joy-Con, it didn't do anything. Maybe I didn't do it. Maybe I didn't do it right. I'll try again next time. Struggling with baby Joy-Cons. Okay. Uh, let's do more Mario Party. With Mario's weird fucking poop stash. And never again do the river racing one. Or the river co-op one, because that was... Not fun for me very much. It was, it was okay. I'd have to do that multiplayer. Depressing is one way to put it. Just kind of boring. Um, today I'm gonna do a little Halloween sp spoop surprise for you all. Dry bones. Speaking of dry bones... Have you guys heard, uh, drywall? You want to hear Drywall? From Neil Ciceriga? Check it out. Yep. It's one of these. Just in time for Halloween. Liam got real raspy as he got older, but this is a different level. It's fucking Skeletor. Those are drums. That's enough of that. So, go check out Neil Ciceriga's YouTube channel if you want more japery as such. So, this mode, this partner party mode, is actually really different from what I understand. You know, it's, it's, um... Not exactly... It's not exactly the stuff that you've seen so far. So, we're gonna partner up. Who should I partner up with? Monty Mole or Waluigi? <laughs> Waluigi? Okay. The reason I would say no Yoshi is because he didn't do his taxes. So we're going to do this board, and then um, after partner party, I'm going to do the map that I unlocked for regular party mode. And we'll do a regular party.
they have to do DLC for this. Mario Tennis got a huge update recently. Like an update that actually fixes most of the bullshit. And added new modes and characters. Like, they're still supporting that. Splatoon is still supported. Mario Party traditionally sells pretty well. So I'd imagine that this game would get some updates too. Which, as we all know, it needs another board. It needs another... Actually, for me, it needs another three boards. But that's just me. I'm not alone. I'm not alone, chat. I have Waluigi with me. Coins, items, and love. Oh. See? It's different. It's like... So take a look at the bones block. Yeah, that's- that's good meat work. Oh, you can plot your course. That's cool. Warp box, warp close to a teammate. One space away from the star, Waluigi. Oh, yes! Oh. So yeah, as I was saying, the whole razor blade in the candy thing, or apple thing around Halloween is is more or less bullshit, but everyone knows about it. I heard about it when I was a kid. I also heard about bleach. Like, people putting bleach in candy and chocolate, which... Excuse me? I, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I, I'm saying that... It's like... You're not gonna go out and trick-or-treat, or you're not gonna leave your house because you're af afraid of a thing that happened, like, one time? And maybe didn't? Nutcases. Exactly. Okay, I see. You need, like, a good rumble. That's interesting. But then there is, like, a news article about people putting, like... People putting, like, weed gummies, like, THC gummies... ...in, um... ...in their, their Halloween stuff. And then there was, like, a post about, like... The post was like, do you think people are really going to give their edibles away? Finish. Really? Ah, that's cool. Oh, wow. God damn. Yo, I'm going to get like little kids high with weird gummies. Like, Scoob, there's gonna be a loose gummy! Scoob, just drop a loose gummy in their Halloween bag! No one will be suspicious of it, Scoob! It's shaped like a pot leaf, Scoob! They'll never know! Honey, what's that weird gummy that's in your bag? 
Ich kenne die Frage nicht. Ja. Yeah. Honey, why is it in a dime bag? I don't know what that is, Mom. You have to land specifically on the spot. Waluigi. Very good. You made a good decision. <laughs> Vinny, whatever happened to Tucker friend person? I think he, he ate one of the, the... I think he ate one of the gummies last Halloween. And he's, he's been... He's been in the hospital ever since. And not because he needs to be, but because they just keep hearing him talk, and they're like, oh, he's not better yet. He's like, what if dolphins, um, had, like, legs? Oh, well, he's not... We... We can't let him out. He's not better yet. So, we're currently in the era of Kylo Renbab. Who will grow up into a Tucker friend person? There's a thumb bug and a weed weed shaped candy. I'm tri I'm tripping out, mom. I'm freaking out. I'm like but really fucking hot, mom. Vinny, why do you always lock your characters in rooms? Don't know. <laughs> Castlevania all over again. This is an amazing minigame. It's just pie, chat. It's just pie. Monty Mole's like, this is my first Mario Party, and this is how I'm treated. These are the mini games I have to deal with. Monty Mole's like, what happened to bumper balls? Fuck. Meanwhile, it's more like Matsumoto, Auto. Tie. Wow. Already, we're spicing. Bad luck spaces. Oh, okay, they're hidden. I swear, Waluigi's voice got so much more cunty over the years. I don't know what the hell happened. Yo. I'm getting, like, really good rolls. A red kern is five kern. Wait, I don't have a key for this. Mm. Oh, cool. If you knock into the opponents, you steal their kern. So, you know, this is a cool game mode if you're looking for, like, a little bit of variety. And you don't want to all be in a stupid car. You have freedom. 
there's like new spaces, there's new things to do, there's like a new way to go around the board. It's something different. And and it I think it works. I don't know what the Bowser's thing is. It seems like he just wants to have some fun. Fetch ingredients to complete the order, so this is overcooked. Wow, Mario Party is doing an overcooked thing. What kind of mystery meat is this? Is that like bacon? It's like uncooked bacon? Why did it turn into a burger? But yeah, this- this is just, like, uh, baby overcooked. I'm making a BLT. Oh. Yeah, that was a BLT. Start. Delicious uncooked bacon. This is BBL. Fuck out of my way, Yoshi! Draw your tree, Derek! Some good meat work we got there, Waluigi. Everyone's footsteps all at once. It wasn't just our footsteps, it was Toad's footsteps, too. Multiple Toads. Someone said, define cunty in relation to Waluigi's voice. I can't. But it's there, I heard it again. Oh, now, now we're getting shit rolls. Oh, oh well. Can't stop the feeling when they hurt you. Can't stop the being a lot of you do. Can't stop the feeling to put a feet to. Can't stop the car to put a people. That's- that's the song. That's how it goes. That's the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's called Can't- Can't Stop! Can't stop, I gotta take a big poop. Sorry. Pay attention to the rumbling. Okay. Each one of these lads has a different rumble. Start. What'd you say, Toad? I didn't hear you. Peck. So that's double short rumble. That's like a kind of a shortish one time rumble, and that's a long rumble. Waluigi, you fucking idiot. Okay. 
Oh, this one's getting a little harder. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I think it was blooper. I think it was blooper. Ah, fucking hell. This is a tough minigame, but it's really fucking good. Okay, long boy. It's a sh stronger but shorter rumble. It's a medium. Jesus. Yeah. Finish. You fucked me, Waluigi. Winners. Why are you still clapping, Waluigi? Get out of here, you fucking suck. Kind of surprised that they were able to incorporate HD Rumble into the mini games as well as they did. Yeah. Now I'm the one who sucks. Sorry, Bows. At least get Bowser? What do you mean, get Bowser? Do you have to land on him? You only have to run into him? Well, what happens when you run into him? He becomes an ally? Ah, oh, shit. Winner. I didn't realize what was happening. I... I was like, oh, we're gonna do a minigame for these coins. Turns out you had to wait, like, and feel the rumble. Forgot about that. amazing. I've played this game three times now. I'm still seeing almost all of the minigames are new. Like, every time I play this, there's almost no repeat. I guess that's what 80 new minigames will do for you. Get tackled three times and you're out. Got it. I just call them football! Man. Never mind Charge and Chuck. I didn't know their names. I didn't read the fucking Mario World credits when I was a kid. Finish. Last bone standing. No shortage of calcium here. Vinny, is this better than Mario Party 9 and 10? I don't remember if I even own those games. 
think I do. Uh, yes, is the answer. Yes. <laughs> God damn it, Waluigi, you gotta get the thing. You can't get the thing. Fuck you. Hi, Bows. Bye, Bows. Sure, I'll need- I'll do you a favor. You look like you need one. Yeah, Waluigi! Stomp! It's not a very lucky space, but... I guess that's okay. running into your boss when you're out doing shit with friends. <laughs> uh, hey, Bowser. What are you doing here? I'm just having a, a party. We're, we're having a Mario party. Excuse me? We're, we're, um... We're playing games. I don't pay you for this shit. What kind of mini games? Like, you know, 2v2s, like there's there's one where you have to like cream pie your opponents. Okay, this is epic. I hit you with a double there. That's enough to have some people tune out, I think. Someone someone just did that gif. What- what is that gif where the- the dude, like, he's like, nah, and then he walks away, or he closes the computer? What- what gif is that? There's many of them? No, no, there's a, there's one specific one. Not Nude Tane, that's a good one, too. The Parks and Rec one? Shit, I don't remember which actor it was. Wow. Wow. This is a hell of a minigame. Parks and Rec? It might be Parks and Rec. Just barely won. Wow! <laughs> Is that Aurora Borealis, I see? Yes, sir. I, some of these mini games are really good. Jerry Seinfeld. It's Jerry Seinfeld from Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's the gif. Where he's sitting in, in the theater, watching Larry David. He's like, nah, I'm out. And then he stands up and walks away. That's the one. That episode of Curb is fucking incredible, by the way. That whole season was good. Where he has to do the play. You mentioned a computer? Yeah, that was my bad. I made a mistake. That's- that's Nude Tane, I believe. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Bows. So I have to go around... 13 spaces... in order to possibly collect the star. Can I, like, bump into Bowser again? Do you think if- what happens if I- what happens if me and Bowser become reacquainted? Take Daisy? What do you mean, take Daisy? Mm. 
No, I had it. I can easily do that again. I just was curious maybe if I can, like, steal a star from Daisy or something. Okay, Bows is following me. Okay. I love that dry bones. A dead boner was able to get dizzy from running around a circle. It's the little details. Where's the goddamn key? It's in a hole? Is that a Silent Hill reference? God, that, that was awesome. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work well for me. Because it's such an old game. Well, not that old, but still. I was like, ah, am I gonna love this, or am I gonna... No, it was- it was pretty damn good. Very memorable, too. Like, just the stuff that happened yesterday, I was like, oh. That'll- that'll be stuff I remember for a while. Um, my favorite part, of course, is... Reaching... Jamie, I'm gonna call him Jamie, even though that's not his name. Reaching Jamie's hand into the toilet to pick up a thing. Maybe that's where the key is here. And that toilet was disgusting. That was worse than, like, bar bathrooms in, the, in like... The city. Like, that I've seen. Like, there's some fucking bar bathrooms that are gross. You know- you know it's a quality bar when you walk into it and it smells like piss right out the gate. Like, the bathroom smell is so intense and so soaked into, like, the wood that you can smell it from at the moment you walk into the, the establishment. Very good. Winners! Ready? Yeah! I wouldn't be surprised if some bars to attract customers, like, take a facsimile piss smell and, and like, they put it on, like, Brillo and they just rub it into the wood of the bar. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. Just... It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Got a Starlink code. Confirmed. Hang on a minute. I have to just, um... Probably an embargo for a couple days, but looks like I'll check it out on stream. Again, don't expect a full stream. Could turn into one, maybe. If it's really good. I just don't think it'll be really good. I think it'll be good, but not really good. So expect at least one stream. Someone said, that's what you always say. And that's about right. 
There are times when I play a game one time, and that's it. So they got a phone. Um, and then you can get two stars at once. Okay, cool. I guess we're not spicy enough. And then there's Bloodborne, a game so good that I had no choice but to stream the whole thing. A game so good that even though I didn't like Dark Souls and had a pretty strong aversion to it the first time I played it, I ended up playing through all of Bloodborne, including the DLC, because I loved it that much. That's how good that game is. It's like, are you kidding me? You would like Dark Souls 3? I've heard. I know. Everyone says it. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out, like, in a year or two. Wow. Wow. We, we're the spooky, spooky spook brothers now. We got Boo and everything, it's great. Take that Goomber. Where are you going? I don't know, where am I going? Maybe I'm blocking Daisy from getting the star. Maybe, I don't know. Get the key while we- Fuck off. Could have landed on Daisy. Oh, you're right. Shit. Well, also, I wasn't going to be able to get the star. Waluigi's much closer. Like, it would have taken me quite a while before it, like, and there's a chance that it would have, um... There, there's a pretty heavy chance. that it would have been removed by the time I got there. Uh, Monday, October 15th, 4 a.m. is the embargo lift. For Starlink on the Switch. It's like a day before it comes out. It's the fucking shitty toy game with Star Fox in it. I'm, pro I'm gonna probably play it on my own. And I'll let you guys know how it is. Uh, oh wait, I can't. Oh fuck. I can let you know how it is on Monday. And then I can stream it. Maths of glory. Quick maps of glory. Oh my god. So this is a cool way to do random. Start. But I don't think it is random entirely. I think you can actually kind of aim for the... It's not random. It doesn't mean it's easy to get the six, but it's it's not random entirely. Damn it, Waluigi. Oh, he's fucking ruining everything.
quick maths. Finish. Winners. Ready? Yeah. I'll be honest, that was not as easy as I made it look to get that six. They spelled Vine Sauce in the email for Starlink. Vine Sauce. V I N E S A U S E with a capital S. <laughs> so, I could just break embargo and say it was Vine Sauce that did it and not me. I'm the guy with the C in the name. Can't stop the feeling, but the beat you don't think. Wait, so wait a minute. It wants to take me through the thwomp, or the the plump, rather. But I can't. Go for Wario. I mean, I guess I could go for Wario. You pay? Oh, you can pay. Um... Well, neither myself or Waluigi can get it, so I think I should... I might just get Wario, because that could lead to... Pay the toll? I'm gonna be one space short. I can't get the star, even if I pay the toll, the troll toll. You can both get two stars next turn. Well, what if the toad goes away? You can go through Toadette. No, you can't. So I can go for Wario to get another ally. Or I can get the troll- the- pay the troll toll. Wario plus item. I'm gonna rely on Waluigi to make this happen. Also, hey there, with me on your side, we're sure to win. Oh, and I get Daisy. I was like wondering, what the fuck is Daisy doing here? And then I forgot that you could get allies. Even though I remembered that you could get Wario. <laughs> Wario! As an ally, I, I think I'm defective today. <laughs> Wally O is the new brother. It's Wally from the movie Wally. But in like a plumber's outfit. If there's an ally star at the end, I got that shit easy. Golden drink? That would have been a good cross-promotional item to sell. No, not piss. It's just, I don't know. Like cream soda. But it's in a gold can, I don't know. They sell Nuka Cola. Why not? What, hey, hey, chat, what's the weirdest. Or just name a couple promotional items that you could buy related to a video game? Wasn't this in Mario Odyssey? Oh, this is gonna be a fucking shit show. Waluigi, what are you doing? Mario Red Bull. Mario Cereal. Shrek-themed GBA SP. Start. Just 
hit it once. Go left. Go left. Go left. There, thank you, Waluigi. Thank you. That's very good. Still a little fucked up, but not as fucked up as theirs. That's 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 the litmus test. Is it as fucked up as theirs? No? Then we good. Another pretty good minigame. I like this one. Yeah, there's been, like... I, I kind of think the minigames in this have been really... Have <laughs> been really good. Mostly. There's some shitty ones. There's a couple clunkers. But less clunkers than, like, probably seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this final turn. We're gonna get some stars. We're gonna get some big rolls, too. Big safe rolls with Daisy Block. <laughs> Jesus, fuck! It's like the entire Mario team is with us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, Luigi can't even get it. Won't the game automatically make a path for you? Just go in circles? I think it's not about going in circles. I think it's just a mathematical impossibility that I can get this. had it at the start. I was always one away. See, always one away. I'm always one away. You almost had it. That's the thing. I, I've almost had it since trying, but I, I don't have it. Okay, chat. Just let me know. When, when you click on a space, it can take you there, right? Like, see, it'll make the path for you. Look. If I click here, it'll make the path for me. If I click here, it doesn't make a path for me. For me. So I'm I'm fucked. I can't get it. I needed even, not odd. There you go. And I can't get this luck space either. Just trying to get something cool. 
Like, I can't even get anything cool. I can't get the Kerns. Well, while Luigi's got the Kerns. More Luigi. Um, I'm just gonna, like, knock into people, I guess. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me, let me just do optimal damage. They, um, if they get this, and they, they very well could get this, they probably are going to get this. Oh, maybe not. They might not have enough to get it. That is the shittiest roll. That, that is shit luck. That's worse luck than- oh my god, that's worse luck than us! Really bad rolls. Oh, they do have a bumper ball game in this. But it's- it's bumper brawl. And you can, like, charge up your power. This is a nice evolution of the bumper ball game, which was my favorite. But, I think even better is that you can bring all your allies with you! Clack, 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 clack. Overpower them! <laughs> no! It's just it's just allies versus Yoshi now. Yoshi, what the fuck kind of cheating is that? All right. Wow, that was a pretty gut wrenching Yoshi noise. Also, those are some pretty nice-looking reflections, don't you agree? Yeah. Look at Bowser's reflection, that shit is like good graphics. Damn, son. That was a good minigame. It's just extra funny when you have 40 other people with you. You could feel the history with every step. First bonus is the Monty Mole bonus. Whoever is Monty Mole gets the bonus star. Totally Shrek. Ready? Yeah. Congratulations. We make a good team, Waluigi and I. Oh, in case you don't know who Shrek is, it's, um, it's a tin video game character that came to life and, uh, then started working on a mini golf course. Voiced by, uh, Michael Myers, the guy from, uh, the, the movies, uh, with, uh, Friday the 15th.
Oh, yeah. Mike Myers from the hit movie Love Guru. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome credit to be known for. Do remix mode in the music minigame? I don't know what that means, Nary. You know, the good guys, we, we see enough of them in all the games. Soundstage? We need a little bit of chaos. Did I not confirm? Good. 30 seconds of all of our lives gone. So do the remix mode? As I said last time, this is definitely a good time for the strap. Fucked up. I saw it. I just I wanted to go quick. I don't know what this means, but you can feel the beat, so we're gonna feel the beat. Yeah. I, I only missed one. What the fuck? Look at the look at the bottom right. Really? Fairly accurate. I just hate it. is getting tired. That's all it takes. I'll just use my wrist instead. 
No way anyone could take that out of context. No way. Absolutely not. Oh, the sex god himself. Nice Travolta. I feel very silly. Busy laughing, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 not this one again. again. Not a good time. Not a good time. I don't think I won. I fucked up real bad on that one. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I ever really want to do that again. Oh, come on. You mean I got a workout for no reason? Play the last difficulty to unlock a gem? That's how close we were? That's how close we were? Double tie, of all things, too. There is one more difficulty. All right, I guess I have to do that then. Not today, mind you, but eventually. Yeah, I got 60 minutes, let's do it. Okay, so Kamek's Golden Tower, right? All bad guys. Perfect. Yep. 
You know, Golden Tower rhymes with Golden Hour, which is the, the best hour of the day. Pretty stanky place, huh? Chain Chomp. Golden Statue of Kamek. Oh, stars are now differently priced. Wow! Again with the fucking amazing roll. I have a surprising amount of fun playing this single player. I shouldn't. But I do. Two stars right off the bat? Holy shit. Oh, I see. We're going mental on this board. Okay. But yeah, the chat, like, the chat helps. Being able to, like, discuss what's happening and figure out things together is fun. Coin NATO. Steal five to ten coins from rivals. It comes in like a little McDonald's box. It's an unhappy meal. Then are you gonna stream Super Mario World on Thanksgiving again? Um, maybe. Maybe I'll do a randomized version. That's like, the game I most associate with Thanksgiving. So I try to- I try to do it. What is that red X? Oh, Pogchamp is- is broken. I'm using chatty, so sometimes emotes just break. I thought it was an update that I had to do, but PogChamp seems to have been broken for a couple days now. Trike harder? Wait, it's a miniature clown on a tricycle. Do you see the- look at the diagram on the top right. Are you kidding me? This is stupid. I dropped it at one point, and if I didn't have the wrist strap on, I wouldn't have won that. Okay, let's get ready to move your pingor. Pingor. Okay, say goodbye to your wrists. We're starting early. Ok, 
Okay, who here has a carpal tunnel? Okay, let's get some. So why did someone make that? Why would someone make that? That's Mario screaming too, if anyone wants to know. I think that's a uh, Mario Odyssey. I think it's a, an edited Mario Odyssey scream slowed down and then put through like distortion and phasers and shit. <laughs> oh, it's a Mario Sunshine scream? Okay. Here's Mario screaming. This is Mario screaming one. I played this on stream before. Yeah, it's the original audios from Mario Sunshine when Mario gets burned. I get burned. Shy Guy's just so happy to participate. Shy Guy's been getting a lot of action lately in the Mario games. He tends to show up in Mario Kart quite a bit. Sometimes he's only like the the shitty character that you can't choose. You know, or there's like multiple Shy Guys. Hit the bomb serves at the defending team. Start. Really, guys. These are the best noises. Finish. Oh. Winner. I have a theory that Shy Guy is a fucked up cat. Those are almost meows. They're really low pitched meows. So I think like it's Cheese Cat, but put in the suit like Darth Vader, eternally burning from hot liquid hot cheese. Meow. Meow. It's even got a mask. It's kind of Darth Vader-ish. I'm telling you, there's there's some lore here. Didn't you guys steal baby Mario? You should be ashamed of yourself. Fuck off. No! Off the chisel. That's Chain Chomp's first mixtape. He's a, he's a SoundCloud mumble rapper.
Vinny, do you have two monitors? I, I do. This is actually three at the moment. So, the TV is a third monitor, and I use that for um, direct input when I'm, like, splitting the, the, the signal from, like, PS4 or Switch. So, monitor one, all the way to my left, has XSplit, so that's the capture software, so I can monitor that, see if everything looks okay. It's usually fine. Uh, monitor two, next to the TV, has the chat, and then directly right next to that, to the right, is the TV. So... But I only use the TV for stuff like Switch, or PS4, or Xbox, or whatever. Most times it's just... You know, two monitor setup. Game left, chat right. Vinny, you may have three monitors, but can you see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I know why they love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ah, beers. Oops, all chocolate. Start. It's like the idiocracy of, of cereals. Big hall. Sorry, Boo. I feel like I just apologized. Sorry, Boo. Meanwhile, I'm really just apologizing to a ghost. Um, I can imagine this being kind of interesting in in person. What? No one went for the big fat stack of coins. God damn it. Finish. Let me have it, bro. Let me get the middle, bro. You don't need it. I'll let, I'll let you have it. Don't worry. To, I have to get to that star. Should be enough. I'll take two, please. So it always stays in the same spot. Oh man, discounted stars. Fuck. Yeah. My dick. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> now that is a combo. Koopa's dice sucks. Koopa looking into his future. His inevitable future. Dry bones looking into a flesh brother's eyes. Dry 
dry bones and wet flesh, exactly. Watching a Monty Python thing on Netflix. There's a a thing called um, Monty Python's Personal Best, and each member, God damn it, boo! Each member chose their like favorite skits, and they put them into like so because the show has got like a lot of episodes, and some of them aren't that great, and a lot of them didn't age very well. But each member chose their best, their favorite skits, and they put them together into like one big episode. Pretty cool. Oh, no. And then they do little skits in between, too. So, it's a good intro to the Flying Circus. But, uh, yeah, so, boo. How about that? Two stars for five coins. Son of a bitch. Fifteen coins per star here. God damn it, Boo. Okay, now we're gonna find out who Boo was in a previous life. Alright. This hammer bro turns into a Boo. Confirmed. Hi, Squishy. How did he die? I think he was hit by a boat. Yeah, that's my best guess. A yacht, in particular. Hammer bro shouldn't be swimming anyway, because they get weighed down by their hammers, but this one was just being like real, real arrogant and adventurous. How do you get hit by a boat? You just dive. In the history of people, there is definitely people... There are definitely people that got hit by boats. Because they didn't think to dive, or they couldn't, or they couldn't get out of the way. You know people got hit by boats. You gotta stop. But, I mean, people get killed by stupid things. I mean, just go to... go read the Darwin Awards. Not to turn this into, like, morbid conversation, but it's true. People do some really dopey, stupid shit that leads to... I saw a video of a couple, like... I mean, granted, they're kids. It was a GIF, actually, and it was, um... I, I think they were probably, like, 10, 11, 12 each, something like that. And it was a sinkhole. And they were jumping on the edges of the sinkhole. Up and down. And then, what do you know? the ground near the sinkhole fell into the sinkhole and one of the kids fell in. Now, the good news is uh, there was water in the sinkhole. So, the kid was you know, floating and I'm sure was rescued. In fact, I'm pretty sure that there, that's the follow-up. But I'm just saying, like, things like that happen all the time. Uh, well, not maybe sinkholes specifically, but... So... There's been a lot of giant enemy crabs on the stream lately. Anyone notice that? Did you hear it? Did you did you hear the there was like a weird message? I don't know if it was subliminal or what. You didn't you didn't hear it, chat? It said Final Fantasy VII remake is never coming out. I think it was Toad that was saying that. I told you forever, crabs are now associated with that game. It's like a, like a conference of evil. Look at them. Dry bones. Boo. 
Koopa Troopa, Hammer Bro, together, plotting Mario's downfall. <laughs> no. Someone said that they announced Final Fantasy VII too early, and that's why we haven't seen it yet, because it was just announced really early. I think so. I think that Sony just wanted to... They wanted to, uh... Create some buzz. And, like, bolster their, uh, lineup that year. But that that's like, what, four years ago we saw it? Three or four years ago now? Twenty fifteen. Three year development cycle is pretty standard for a lot of games, but I guess for a, a game as big as Final Fantasy VII Remake, I uh, don't like you very much, uh, Bowser Jr. I think, in fact, I kind of hate you at the moment, um, very much. I'm gonna say that you're a jerk. You're a real jerk. Real jerk. I'm willing to give them a chance to develop the game. But like when Nintendo says they don't like to announce games too early, I believe them. But then they showed Metroid Prime 4 kind of early. We still haven't seen anything of that, so... don't understand. Okay. I, I, I understand. But it just was, like, really easy? I would imagine that if I had held the button for another half second, it would have popped. That's my guess. The AI is just too stupid. I guess if you have, like, human players, they would try to outdo each other until someone pops their balloon. But... Yeah, I mean, Nintendo doesn't announce games too early, but then they kind of do. But that was a good move for them. They needed to mention Metroid. Because it was, like, the return of the series, and Samus Returns is cool, but it wasn't, like... Maybe they felt like it wasn't enough after the Federation Force fiasco, and they were like, hey, we should... We should also at least show the title screen. But... In the case of Final Fantasy VII, I'm willing to give it, like, a couple more years. It's a game that deserves the uh, development time, but... If you remember correctly, Final Fantasy XV took, like, ten years to make and went through a number of changes and remakes and, you know, from the ground up and stuff. Start. So I could- I could see this game taking, like, another four years. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say four years. What about Pikmin? I'd like a new Pikmin. I think we'll get another Pikmin... ...maybe announced at E3? Not this year? Uh, or, uh, 2019 E3? And if not, then at a Direct next year? I mean, it's possible. I just think that they have a lot going on right now. Nintendo's got a lot of games... ...in development. Mm. 
one or more coins. I'll give you five coins. Oh, yeah. Two stars for ten coins. Well, two stars for 15 coins, if you count. You know, me paying the thwomp. Still pretty good, though. Last night I joked that I was playing Soylent Hill, which is a fully edible hill that provides all the nutrients you could ever want. I didn't say it on stream, but... That was, um, because when I was at a 7-Eleven recently, I saw Soylent. It's like a drink that you, you don't need to eat. You just drink that and you get all your nutrients or something. You know, I can't not associate the word Soylent with Soylent Green, meaning the famous line, Soylent Green is people. Just forever, that's how it is now for me. I just can't break the association. So when I see Soylent, being sold in a store. I'm like, ooh, that's people. That's the joke? Well, what did the word Soylent- hang on a minute. I just figured they used the original definition of the word and they tried to, like, move past the Soylent Green thing. Definition. Soylent, a fictional food substance from, um, Make Room, Make Room, Soylent Green. I see. Oh, no, no, Make Room, Make Room is the name of the science fiction novel. Soylent Green was based on the novel, so that this word did not exist before then? I guess it's just a fictional word. So they're using this the association with Soylent Green. Soy, lol, right, chat? Yeah. Mm. It's good. It's real good. <sighs> Epic. The more I watch the mini games, and the AI try to figure them out, the more I have to wonder, like, 
when someone or a team of people have to develop an AI for this game, like, you'll notice that the characters, like, they, they're a little dumb on purpose, even though this is the very hard difficulty. You know, they stop a little bit, they make, like, little mistakes. And you have to wonder, like, what kind of delicate balance is there in creating an AI that isn't too perfect that it's bullshit. You know, but it's good enough to still provide a challenge, but like, yeah, it's just make them fuck up a little bit here and there. I guess that's it. I guess that's what you have to do. Even though I don't think the AI in this game is too difficult, I still lost pretty bad the other night, and when I bought the game, the dude at GameStop was like, the AI cheats. They s they're cheap as fuck. Like, something like that. He was like, the AI cheats, they're really cheap. I was like, oh, okay. I really haven't seen that. A little bit. I mean, a couple times I saw them, like, do some shady shit, but... Damn, boo. Try and find guidelines based on the actual players, then try to build them to take that amount of time. I see, so like... You got stars. <clears throat> there's so much that must go into that. And they've been doing it for years, too, but it's, it sounds so much more involved when you put it like that. Like... Play test it, take the data from the playtesters, and try to interpret that into an AI. Someone said, reminder that the whole Soy Boy thing is actually a Big Bang Theory joke. Are you serious? That came from Big Bang Theory? And people are still... I love when, um, you know, if I tell people I'm going to Comic-Con, they're like, I'm a nerd. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like Comic-Con. I like going because there's some stuff there that, you know, I said it's getting a little crowded, but... Oh, yeah, I, I, what do you like? What, like, what do you... Well, I like, um, like, Jessica Jones, and, uh, uh, I like, uh, Big Bang Theory. Like, it's so, it shows so funny. It's just, like, they're so nerdy. It reminds me of you. No one's actually said that to me. Like, it reminds me of you, but... It's just... It's like, that's the moment when your heart just sinks and you die. They say Spock a couple times in, like, the episodes. So, like, I know Star Trek. There's a good YouTube video about- a video about Big Bang Theory and how they... How they do their jokes. Wow, you just straight up stole that ally. Um, which isn't, like, the, the jokes aren't smart, they're just references. It's... I forget what video it was, but it was a good one. And, um, like... How certain pop culture related shows can make that stuff work, the referential nerd humor work. But Big Bang Theory, like, kind of made no attempt to, to do anything clever. And then, of course, there's, like, a lot of videos where they remove the laugh track from the show, and it just becomes, like, a fucking existential horror show. Just a nightmare. Start. Yes, I won. You can do that with any laugh track, though. I disagree. I think Seinfeld... Well, Seinfeld is weird because it's a funny show. It doesn't need the laugh track. But the laugh track kind of paces the jokes, and then the actors stop to wait for the audience to laugh. Yeah, I mean, actually, I agree. I, uh, here's the thing. Seinfeld is a funny show anyway, but when you remove the laugh track, it's awkward as fuck because people are just standing there staring at each other. Please tell me when to laugh. It wasn't a laugh track, it was a live audience. Well, even if you remove the live audience, laugh sounds is what I mean. Yeah. 
But you know, shows had to do it. Like if you watch Monty Python's TV show, there was there was a like a live studio audience. There was laughter. Meanwhile, for me, like some of their funniest bits were the ones they pre-recorded. Monty Python redid most of their famous sketches. And they did them for a movie called, and now for something completely different. No laughter, no audience, just a movie. And it was really good. Uh, like, the sketches do, do not need the laughter to work. They're very, very fucking funny on their own. Say the name. Bigus. Chicus. Anyone's game. Stars cost quite a bit. Um, and there's, there's three of them that you can get. It's pretty mental. Oh, I see how this works. Every time you pay, the number goes up. I can only get two. Two of three. I'll take them. Offer all 43 to be an asshole. Actually, kind of a great idea. <laughs> Lancelot Massacre of Wedding Party will always be hilarious to me. That and Lancelot charging from the distance, and then them cutting to the same clip of him in the distance over and over and over again, and then he just appears and he's like, "Bah!" That's. I probably one of the funniest I've ever like one of the hardest moments I've ever laughed in my life. When I first saw that. I was younger, but it was yeah, that and the wedding massacre, that whole fucking thing was so good. But Life of Brian is still my favorite. In what? Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Someone just said I was named after the life of Brian. Oh, jeez. Brian! Catholic Church got very upset about that movie, even though it wasn't about Jesus. It was about a dude named Brian. They showed Jesus in the movie briefly, and he's like a totally separate character, and they treat him with like complete respect. Totally respectful portrayal of Jesus, with a real, like, actor. No jokes about Jesus whatsoever. The character is called Brian, and he mistakenly gets crucified. That's the plot of the movie, like, you know. But, um, it got... I think the movie got banned, like, everywhere. Because they were like, oh, that's Jesus, even though it wasn't Jesus. They just didn't watch the movie. It's a comedy, yeah. It's, well, it's uh, Monty Python, Life of Brian. To be fair, it, what it does is it sat satirizes and picks on followers of a religion and how that could get out of hand and like how doctrine can turn into a nightmare so that is probably what they didn't like very much so that's not the messiah he's a very naughty boy but yeah, it was banned, it was protested, there were bishops talk like complaining about the movie. This is uh, pretty... Oh, another duplicate! Oh, except this time I'm actually... 
playing it. What about Kung Pao? Kung Pao is a good movie. Chosen one. Yeah, Kung Pao is great. Aren't they doing a sequel to that? Or no. A fifteen later fifteen year later sequel. Well, I mean Super Troopers did it. For better or worse, I didn't see the second movie. Blade Runner is an exception. Let's be honest here. The fucking Blade Runner 2049 should not have been as good as it was. It's a movie that did not need to exist, came out 40 years later, and ended up being probably one of the best sequels to a movie of all time. That's usually not how these things go. How is Blade Runner? I've not watched it yet. Well, the original is my favorite movie ever. We do this at least once a week, but I'm gonna do it again. Uh, it's my favorite movie of all time, though I understand why people wouldn't like it. You might not like it. It's a very slow-paced movie. There's not much story, but it's beautiful, and it's 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 just a marvel of practical effects and set building, and I love it. But I've showed it to people that have fallen asleep watching it, so that should give you some indication. Blade Runner 2049 is a lot better structurally, I feel. It's still slow, it still retains the feel of the, the first movie, but it's got a story that you can follow a little bit better. And there's some good stuff in there. There's a lot of good stuff in there, actually. Like a lot, lot. So. I recommend both. But, 2049 might be more palatable. Relieve the glory days, do your best boo impression. I will not sit here... ...and be your monkey... ...for you. You got stars! The quote-unquote glory days, huh? That was the glory days, chat. You just heard them. <laughs> High quality humor. <laughs> yeah. Which cut of Blade Runner is your favorite? The final cut. The most recent cut on the DVD and Blu-ray that Ridley uh, did. No voiceover. Best cut. I can't believe I'm gonna do this here. It was a cold, tall glass of water. And it was in that moment that maybe he loved life more than he ever had. It was also at that moment that I looked to my right. I felt slightly injured from my injuries. It's like, thanks, Harrison. We got it. So, we're getting duplicates now. I spoke too soon about non-duplicates. Boy, I'm sure not doing a whole lot here. Yeah, the RNG really handled that one. RNG AI. 
Wait, does that just make it ring gay? <laughs> oh, God. Remember this dice block sucking and being fucking terrible? It still is. There's no haunted level. I always love the haunted levels. You know, it's cool I can do, like, the bad guy... ...um, competition here. But... I need a haunted level. I also need a haunted level in Mario Odyssey. I've been waiting for the haunted level DLC for years. Oh, well, year. I've been waiting- I've been waiting year for Haunted Level DLC and it hasn't happened. Hat Kingdom? A little bit. I- I agree they're- they're ghostly. It's a little creepy. It's cool. I like the Hat Kingdom. I think it's a really good stage, but it's- it's small. There's not a ton to do there until a bit later. But more so, Shy Guy is going to win. This is what happens when you give Shy Guy the block. Or the, the golden pipe. Why would you give him a golden pipe? So... I'm thinking more like, you know, something like Mario 64. Or maybe like a Mario 64 kind of haunted house, but a couple haunted houses. Or like Banjo-Kazooie had a great haunted level. Yeah, Galaxy had some good ones, too. I mean... Even Mario 3D Land had some haunted stages. I just... You know... It's weird that Mario games can be sometimes actually kind of scary. Like, the, the fucking piano. I want to see more of that. Train in Pain. It's a Clash reference. Gotta get him from behind. The more allies you have, the more chances you have. Lucky son of a bitch. Lucky son of a bitch, Carl. <laughs> Why would you stand there? The AI has to make some mistakes every now and then, but I didn't expect it to be like three seconds of nothing. I think Shy Guy just gave up. Or like was just choking on, like, molten cheese inside the- inside the mask. Like, cheese flashbacks. Yeah. 
depending on the bonus, I might still win. Buddy bonus. I don't, I don't know. There's gonna be some ties here. Excuse me? The fuck is that shit? Low poke bonus. How about mini game bonus, where you play really well and you fucking dominate all the other ca characters, and then you get a star. No wonder shy guy stopped moving. He knew he won. Shy guy got two allies but lost one. All right. I'm not proud of you, Shy Guy. You didn't deserve this. That was my victory and you know it. What? I mean, jerk. Poop, poop head. Take second. So there's these gems, and I don't know what this does. The gem of tenacity. The infinity stones? Yeah, pretty much. Where it's like the fucking... the things from Zelda. So there's five gems. The road to superstardom begins here. Alright, well, I mean, that's something I can eventually work towards, which is getting the rest of the gems. Don't know what it does, but apparently uh, I'm almost there with the rhythm games. Are you sure you want to leave Mario Party and never come back? Top right is a node you unlocked. A mode you unlocked. Oh, I thought you said nerd. All right, I'm gonna uh, stop here, and I'm gonna get going. I've been streaming for a couple hours, almost four, I'd say. And uh, we'll check the art real quick. Yeah, Mario Party is still fun. I don't know how long it'll be fun for, but for now, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, three and a half hours, so not really four. But, regardless, I'm gonna get going and, uh, take the night off, like I said. But, I'll probably not be around tomorrow either. I'll try. But, uh, do I want to say what's going on? Well, there's, there's a concert that I have to go to, you know, so it should be good I, I mean, it's not like i really want to go see the gorillas but you know anyway the point is um i'll give it a shot if i can stream tomorrow that would be great if not then sunday stream and then we'll resume the spooky games on monday and that will be followed by more you know mario party starlink see if that's any good and yeah yeah that's about right and then soon enough, soon enough there will be Soul Calibur 6. That comes out October 19th, so that's going to be next week as well. Half-Life 3 comes out next week. That's cool. <laughs> 